Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2020 movie, The Kissing Booth 2. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles, and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we learn that before Noah went off to college, he and Elle had a lot of fun together. Now they are in a long distance relationship and Elle tells her that she at times feels lonely as Noah is away and they do not get to have the fun they used to have. Noah is now in a new environment and he has his own life now. She does not contact him much because she does not want to be a burden and wants to give the guy his space. Lee and Elle, on the other hand, are now in their final year. Elle still spends a lot of time with Lee, but he is too busy a lot of times, and on top of that, his girlfriend Rachel does not like Elle at all. They now have to go to college after this year, so they are already getting prepared for that. They have a set of rules as best friends and they strictly adhere to those rules and rule number 19 says that they are going to have to go to the same school as their best friend. They have been trying to apply to BC Berkeley because they have gotten to know that their own mothers became best friends there. On the other hand, the donations are starting again and the idea of the kissing booth is again pitched and all of them agree to it. The notorious OMG girls go on to ask Elle and Lee about the volunteers for the kissing booth but they have no idea who is going to volunteer this year. There is a new hot guy in school and his name is Marco. He is famous as the new Noah in the whole school and the girls go on to ask if he's going to be a volunteer at the kissing booth in order to convince the popular girls to say yes to their idea. Elle goes on to tell them that the new Noah will be there. Elle has not even seen Marco yet, but she of course has heard a lot about him. That night, when Noah and Elle are chatting, Noah goes on to tell her that she should just not be applying to UC Berkeley, she should be applying to some other universities as well, just to be on the safe side. He then goes on to invite her to come to Boston so that they might be able to spend some time together. He tells her that they will have some time together and on top of that, she will be able to apply to some colleges in Boston. One day, a girl goes on to show a video of Marco to Elle. It's a workout video and Elle is impressed by the boy's body. While they are sitting together, Elle mistakenly turns on the mic of the school speakers and when she is making comments about his body, the whole school goes on to hear her naughty comments. The girl in front of her knows what's going on, but she is enjoying the humiliation of Elle so she does not tell her what's going on. The whole school makes fun of her and Marco himself goes on to hear her comments. Wherever she goes in school, she is taunted about her comments and is really embarrassed. That night, Elle goes on to have a video chat with Noah, and among his friends, she notices a girl who looks like a model. The girl's name is Chloe, and when she sees her in Noah's room, she gets a little suspicious. She now realizes that she herself should be there because if she is not, she could end up losing her boyfriend. Elle has decided that she is going to apply to Harvard now. However, when she goes on to check the university website, she realizes that she cannot pay the fee of this university. She then tries to come up with some way to get that kind of money. That day, Lee and Elle go to their favorite place where they dance like crazy. We know it from the first part that their favorite activity in the whole world is dancing. Their MVP record has been broken by someone else and this was a record they held for four long years outside the gaming store. Elle sees a poster on which she reads that there is a dancing competition and if she enters the competition and comes out victorious, she could very much make herself able to pay the fee. She tells Lee and both of them start preparing for that competition. When they are practicing at their favorite place there, they spot Marco and ask him to be a volunteer at the kissing booth. Being a volunteer in the kissing booth means whoever takes the ticket to the kissing booth will be able to kiss Marco. He goes on to refuse, but when Lee tells him repeatedly, he gives them a challenge. He says if Elle is able to defeat him in any of the games at that place, then he will gladly become a volunteer at the kissing booth. Elle takes him to the dancing machine on which she has been the topper for the last four years. They dance and Marco tries his best, but he ends up getting defeated by the girl. It turns out that he is also good at it, but he is not as good as L because he falls a little short. This is when they go on to learn that the MVP player who broke L's record recently was Marco. That night, Lee has a date with Rachel, but he forgets to go to her and after waiting for him for a long time, she goes home. Lee realizes what has happened and he goes to see her at her place and tries to apologize to her. He tells her that he was with Elle and that they were doing dancing practice. The girl is, however, extremely pissed off at him and goes on to tell him that if Elle kept meddling in the relationship like that, they are never going to be able to move forward. Lee tells her that since Noah is not there anymore, Elle feels lonely, so he is often trying to keep her busy trying to prevent her from being too lonely. 
Lee's girlfriend, however, does not want to listen to any of these excuses and tells him that if he does not do anything to solve this problem as soon as possible, she might have to end things with him. Elle then goes to see Noah in Boston where they hang around the whole city that day. They then go on to make love that night. She meets all of Noah's friends and there she meets Chloe as well. She sees that Chloe is not only hot, she's a very interesting girl and she starts getting jealous of Chloe. Among Noah's friends, the closest to him is Chloe and Elle does not like it at all. When she goes to the interview to apply to a college, the interview does not go well because she is already too stressed about other things, and on top of that, when she comes back to Noah's room, she finds an earring in his room. She then goes on to check Noah's phone and reads his chat with Chloe, and she does not like what she reads. She thinks that Noah has been cheating on her with Chloe, but she decides that she is going to keep trusting him as she always has, and makes her way back home. When she meets Lee, she asks him about Rachel, and he tells her that she is still angry at him, but he does not tell Elle the actual reason for his girlfriend's anger. When they are practicing dancing, Lee slips and ends up spraining his ankle. Lee tells her that he is not going to be able to make it to the competition with her and goes on to suggest she make Marco her partner. Marco is an even better dancer than Lee, and because she really needs the money, she decides to go through with Lee's advice. She talks to Marco about it and he right away agrees to be her partner in the competition. It turns out that Marco himself wants to become her partner, which means he might have a thing for her. Elle is now busy with her dancing practice and Lee goes on to devote all his time to his girlfriend to make amends for what happened. As they prepare for the competition, they spend a lot of time together and Marco starts getting attracted to Elle. Elle keeps stalking Chloe on Instagram and in one of her pictures, she sees that same earring and it is now confirmed that the earring belonged to Chloe. Elle tries to talk to her BF about it but he keeps ignoring her and it worries her even more. When she is at dance practice that day, she seems real off and goes on to tell Marco about Noah when he asks her why she is so down. Elle shares her worries with him and he tells her to chill out. He tells her that she is just taking too much stress over everything and they then decide to hang out for a while. Marco tries to cheer her up as he takes her to an amusement park. They start getting really close but Elle restricts herself as she does not at all want to cheat on Noah. It is now clear that Marco really likes Elle. The Halloween dance arrives and Lee forgets to tell Rachel they changed costumes. Rachel was a marshmallow while Lee and Elle were going to be crackers making a s'more, upsetting her even more. Elle shares a dance with Marco, almost kissing him, but stops upon hearing people gossiping about her. Later on at the party, Elle and Lee go to dance together and all the students cheer them on. Rachel is again pissed off because she is getting no time to spend with her boyfriend because he is of course with Elle yet again. Rachel loses it and goes on to shout at Elle amidst the party, in front of everyone. She curses at her for always coming between her and her boyfriend and leaves. She had thought that Lee had already talked to Elle about this problem, but it turns out that Lee has not talked to her at all. Lee now understands that Rachel was genuinely hurt that night, so he stops spending much time with Elle and tries to spend as much time with Rachel as he can. The day of the competition finally arrives and thousands have gathered in the arena to see Elle and Marco dance together. We see that among those thousands of people, there is Noah as well. He has come to the town to spend the Thanksgiving vacation with his family. Marco and Elle perform well and they end up winning the competition. Both of them enjoy their performance and they are over the moon at the realization that they have won the competition. They get overexcited and go on to kiss right on the stage. Elle has no idea that Noah is there. He does not even bother to show his face to her and makes his way out of the auditorium without saying anything. Lee finds in his car trunk Elle's applications to Harvard, angering him. He is angry because they had already decided that they were going to apply to Berkeley University. After this, both Lee and Noah get disconnected from Elle. Days go by and no one talks to each other. Thanksgiving dinner happens at Flynn's, where Noah arrives with Chloe, upsetting Elle, where Lee confronts her for not telling him about her application to Harvard and Rachel is upset with her as well. In simple words, everyone at the party seems to be upset at Elle and Elle herself is heartbroken too. Noah keeps bringing up different things to make his point that he is really pissed off at Elle for what she did and Elle loses it. She goes on to show him the earring she found under his bed and Elle now starts to think that this is it for her and Noah because Noah is not able to give her any satisfactory answer when he tries to explain the earring to her. During dinner, Rachel discovers Lee never spoke with Elle and leaves. Catching up with her, Rachel breaks up with him. Elle tries to convince Rachel to reconcile with Lee but is unsuccessful. She also returns the earring to Chloe, who confirms it's hers. She reveals to Noah in a bar that one night she slept in Noah's room while he was out and lost it. 
The next day, when Marco is at the kissing booth and they are to gather donations, Marco is there because he is, of course, the volunteer this time. Elle is blindfolded and Marco thinks that this is his chance to talk to her. He has been wanting to talk to her for a while, but he has never gotten a proper chance. Elle always dodged whatever he said to her about the two of them because she felt guilty, but it does not seem like she feels guilty about anything anymore. He goes on to ask Elle if she has feelings for him because he for sure likes her. Elle thinks about it for a long time and tells him that she does like him, but is still in love with Noah. She then goes looking for him at the airport because she wants to confess her love to him. There, she does not find Noah, but she does find Chloe, who goes on to tell her that the earring was hers, but that she and Noah have never been involved in any such thing. They are just friends. She tells her that Noah has always been loyal to her. She reveals that he brought her there because he wanted Chloe and Elle to become good friends. She then goes on to tell Elle that Noah is not at the airport because he himself has gone to school as he wanted to see Elle. Elle then texts him and he tells her his location. Elle finds him in the park where they first kissed. Noah confessed to being embarrassed he wasn't doing as well at Harvard as he initially thought. He also wants a relationship with Chloe like Elle has with Lee. Elle and Noah reunite, and Elle goes on to apologize to him for that kiss she had with Marco on the stage. A few months later, Noah returns, and Elle, Lee, and Rachel graduate. Lee shares with Elle that he was accepted at Berkeley and asked if she received a response. She answers she was waitlisted at both Berkeley and Harvard. While Elle opens both envelopes in a room, it turns out she was accepted to both universities, forcing her to make a decision, go to Harvard with Noah or Berkeley with Lee. And with that dilemma, the movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.